Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, my Nikos. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we will be moving to the next talk. Uh, next, next talk, Mandugas. I would like to introduce Mandugas Galosas, who is a final year MD candidate from Lithuania, currently innovating dementia care with a startup, ICOM. ICOM is placed among the top 10 European startups in a Silicon Valley virtual accelerator pioneer. Medigas is experienced in global health NGOs activities with achievements in meaningful youth participation and external affairs on the international level. Medigas was representing more than 1.3 million medical students at WHO meetings, and he is also an intern in the World Medical Association. And the title will be Smart World Solutions for People with Dementia, Their Families, and Caregivers. Over to you, Medigas. Thank you so much. Krishna. So uh, let me start sharing my screen. No, just a second. Can you see my slides? Yeah, we can see you. Great. So Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a great day listening to experienced and honored speakers here today at the Dementia webinar. Mm -hmm. It's great that even in the times of COVID-19, we have such virtuals, virtual events running. So a big shout out and kudos to the conference organizers, speakers, and also those attending the conference. My name is Mindaugas Golvasas. I'm the CEO of ICOM, a startup from Lithuania. And I'll introduce you to the topic, smartwatch solutions for people with dementia, their families and caregivers. If you have any questions or suggestions, let's connect. Here's my Twitter handle and my email. So let's get started. Hello world, to start with. I would like to quickly introduce myself. So as I said, um, as Krishna said, I'm the final year medical student from Lithuania, an active global health advocate, and a past delegate to the WHO event 72nd, 3rd World Health Assemblies, also regional committee meeting in Europe. I've had, had international roles in the biggest and oldest youth-led organization, the International Federation of Medical Students Associations, mostly working on medical education issues in Europe, then being responsible for the UN Agenda 2030 and its sustainable development goals to be aligned to the work and activities of more than 1.3 million medical students worldwide. I've been always interested in global innovation, therefore participated and successfully completed few hackathons, international and national ones among the sectors of healthcare, sustainable energy, also uh, worked on better city infrastructure for access to disabled people. When it comes to neurology, I've been studying this subject and kept in close contact with the researchers here in Lithuania, also in Slovenia, where I've spent a year, also uh, in South Korea, a summer before the COVID hit, where I was doing an internship and focused on neurodegenerative diseases. Healthy aging, is something I believe to be one of the key priorities when it comes to the aging populations. And as WHO, the World Health Organization names the decade 2020 to 2030, the decade of healthy aging, I'm thrilled to join the movement by working towards finding links between advanced technological solutions, clinical research, best practices and evidence, and the holistic approach to people with dementia. So today, there are more than 50 million people living with dementia globally, with more than 50% of, of dementia cases being due to Alzheimer's disease. It is estimated that each year there are around 10 million new cases. So to say a new case for every three seconds, imagine these numbers. Despite the fact that dementia has no approved cure yet, Dementia still costs more than 818 billion US dollars per year. Huge numbers. The total number of people living with dementia is projected to reach 82 million in 2030 and more than 150 million in 2050. Let's quickly take a look at the initial stages of dementia and issues related. The early stage of dementia is often overlooked as the onset is gradual 
and the symptoms include forgetfulness, losing track of the time, becoming lost in familiar places. All these factors can lead to people with dementia getting lost, not being able to find the way back home, and also getting injured. It is important to mention that dementia can be overwhelming for the families of affected people, affected people and for their carers. Physical, emotional pressure can cause great stress to families and carers, and support is required from the health, social, financial, legal systems. These issues I've mentioned before can be and are partially solved by using, let's say, GPS or eSIM trackers. What is a great example of applying technological solutions to daily care? Currently, there are such trackers available on the market for people with dementia and their families, as you can see in the slide. Pendants, specifically designed smartwatches, fitness bands, keychains, also soul-shaped trackers that are left in the shoes. They all greatly contribute to the safety of people living with dementia, as well as the peace of mind of the family and caregivers. However, they have quite a limited application when it comes to the fast development of technological solutions. And in fact, many features could be used to enhance this experience of using tech to tackle dementia care issues. Also, there is an issue with the most of them that these items could be quite easily lost and often they do not have a secure locking mechanisms. As you now see, the picture of some issues faced by family members and caregivers when it comes to the care of people who live with dementia, I would like to move to my next slide and tell you about ICOM. So the decade of healthy aging, 2020 to 2030, defined by the World Health Organization as an opportunity to bring together many sectors for 10 years of concerted, catalytic and collaborative action to improve the lives of older people and their families. ICOM stands as a catalyst in the empowerment of caregivers and families and the aging population to meet the rapid development of medical technology and other aspects of innovative healthcare. There is no treatment currently available to cure dementia or to alter its progressive course. However, much can be offered to support and improve the lives of people with dementia, their families and caregivers. So let's say the principal goals for dementia care are currently early diagnosis in order to promote early and optimal management, also optimizing physical health, cognition, activity and well-being, then identifying and treating accompanying physical illnesses, detecting and treating challenging behavior, and also providing information and long-term support to carers and family members of people living with dementia. So again, big numbers, globally more than 50 million people, growing by 10 million new cases every year, and these issues as people getting lost, not being able to find the way back home and getting injured. It's important to mention that, again, dementia can be extremely overwhelming for the families of affected, affected people and for their carers. Physical, emotional stress, therefore support is required. Some people find support online, browsing Facebook groups, LinkedIn, Reddit, blogs, and other forums. Some pay for the advice and have in-call services. There are many ways available. However, finding the one that would be the most user-friendly and both evidence-based and efficient is quite difficult. ICOM is a smartwatch app for people with dementia, their families and caregivers to ensure the security, well-being and the caregiver's peace of mind. Our app is now live. I have it on my Apple Watch right here. Now it features location tracking and alerts in a case of emergency. We will soon provide familiar voice reminders, track health data, medication reminders, give personalized recommendations and feature 24 seven support for the caregivers. ICOM can also further help patients and caregivers by analyzing the data generated 
and deriving meaningful conclusions from it using a custom-built artificial intelligence system. ICOM is currently rated among the top 10 European startups in a virtual silicon wall accelerator, and we are continuously building the solution. So after more than 20 mock-ups and prototypes, more than 2,000 hours brainstorming, collecting, and developing ideas, we have started our best solution, an app for technologically advanced smartwatches, Apple Watch. Starting with Apple Watch and with the location tracking, setting safe zones, notifications for family and caregivers, we are now developing medication reminders, AI, data analysis, and personalized suggestions. Also integrating 24-7 caregiver support. Excited? So to overview it, you have a mobile app, which will soon be able to connect Android smartwatches to iPhones and also Apple, Watch, Apple watches to Android phones. iHome app is used to the smartwatch and controlled through the app on the phone. We are developing a caregiver 24 seven support option to ensure the peace of mind of family members. AI does its job by giving meaningful predictions on patient's behavior and health condition analyzing smartwatch data, such as movement, habit, movement habits according to the location, sleeping habits, blood oxygen and pressure, standing time and physical activity, falls, and some extras. Here you can see how it looks visually. Again, key features, AI, data analysis, location tracking, and 24 seven support, voice notifications, and personal advising, medication reminders, and health tech. Our competitive advantage is that ICOM is providing a comprehensive app for people with dementia. Notifications, reminders for dementia are different than the ones I need, you need, or some kids might need. Dementia should be taken individually and optimized solutions are the strong side of ICOM. Again, tracking based on geofencing zones, having set safe zones and getting notifications when the zone is, is left, health app adapted for elderly people, medication tracking, including reminders, again, suitable for people with dementia, voice notifications, here, a strong part is familiar voice notification, so pre-recorded by the family members or those that are familiar voice owners, caregivers, peace of mind, conclusions and predictions based on patient behavior, thanks to the AI. I'm also excited to share that we will be working on an ICOM wristband for Apple Watch and top Android smartwatches in the upcoming year. We are now starting with the Apple Watch as our first prototype uh, smartwatch to test our solution. However, all top Android smartwatches are on our agenda and we'll expand uh, to the application use for them as well. As I've mentioned, it will be possible to use um, iPhone or Android phone with uh, Apple Watch or Android Watch, no matter how you pair. And as I said, um, the existing trackers, they lack this uh, locking mechanism that would ensure the safety of the tracker and this device that collects the important health data to be kept with the patient. Therefore, our wristband will ensure these functions in the upcoming future as well. As you can see, our experience team is diverse and we have a clear vision. ICOM is driven by our personal stories. Fathers, grandfathers with Alzheimer's, dementia care, and issues related to our loved ones getting lost and injured. We believe that bringing an integrated smartwatch solution for existing advanced smartwatches, ICOM will give peace of mind for families and will contribute to the safety and well being of the people with dementia. As we call ICOM, is your invisible guard. Thank you for the time and consideration. I would like to ask if you have any questions or recommendations. And uh, I would also like to point out that we are looking for collaborators to prove the concept of smartwatch solutions for people with dementia. 
So we will be trying to test it out in various locations. So any suggestion or interest to collaborate in research projects are very much welcome. Thank you. Um, yeah, hi. Hello. Hello. I would like to ask you what sort of a collaboration are you looking for? So uh, as we are now reaching this uh, development process through the side of business, uh, attracting um, investors, proving the concept, uh, we would also like to offer such solution for broader audience, include the doctors on board. And uh, as some countries already have uh, digital health acts, for example, Germany, in Germany, it's possible to prescribe two mobile applications already as a prescription. So uh, for that to become reality, we need testing and research uh, articles that we uh, have on our plan. Therefore, if uh, any location, any clinical center is interested to test this solution and uh, see how this uh, hopefully efficiently contributes to better care and better outcomes of the caregivers. Uh, we are happy to collaborate, provide all the data and share all the achievements together. Okay, what, uh, what, would, what is the cost factor they have to invest into? Nothing. We are Nothing. open to collaboration. Yeah, it's, it, this is uh, for, uh, as, as I mentioned, our team is uh, from the people that have personal uh, experience with dementia and Alzheimer's. And uh, of course, for the business to function, you need some costs uh, at the later stage. But the idea yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, is based on, on the problems that we faced and we wish to prevent them. So if this is the app base, only mobile base and the... It works with the, uh, the watch, basically. Currently, the app is just for the iPhone and works just oh. with uh, Apple Watch. But as I said, it will feature yeah. Android smart uh, phones and also mm -hmm. smart watches. Later, okay. we will be providing also computer dashboards for the clinics, Okay. for the caregiving clinics. Yes, but they will be okay. customized and uh, after this testing phase. Further Can you developed. just uh, message your email ID uh, for the for the like future contact? Yes, sure. Your name and your uh, yeah, just details like so that we can. Okay, sure. Thank you very much for this interest. Yeah, thank you. Any more questions or some input, uh, feedback regarding what you've heard? Well, if not, then uh, thank you once again. I'll be sharing my contacts. Uh, you can see them also on this slide. It's hello at the icom.com, but uh, I'll paste it uh, uh, in the chat yeah. as well. And uh, I'm staying for the rest of the conference. Uh, looking forward to hearing uh, other uh, great presentations and good luck. Thank you, Mindy Wish you all the best for your future. Thank you. Thank you, thanks.